In this video, we'll look at evaluating exponents, particularly negative and fraction exponents. I have five examples, some harder than others. Let's start with an easy one. Question one is just four to the power of negative four. So here's the rule. When you have a negative exponent, it means this simple phrase. Put me under the line, change my exponent sign. So let's take this whole thing, put me under the line. I took this and I put it under the line and changed my exponent sign. That's it, I'm gonna say it again. A negative exponent means put me under the fraction line, change my exponent sign. And let's not leave it like that. We can do four to the power of four on our calculator or in our heads, I'm betting 256. So one over four to the power of four is just one over 256, we're done. That's how to do a negative exponent. What about a fractional exponent? When you have an exponent that's a fraction, the top number is the power, the bottom number is the root. So we're gonna do four to the power of three, all to the root of two. In this case, the root is two is square root. You could put a two here, or square root's the one type of root. We can leave the square out. So four to the power of three, because the top was a three, and to the root of two, or square root, because the bottom was two. And we get the square root of what's four cubed? Four power of three, 64. What's the square root of 64? You can do that in your head or do it on your calculator. The square root of 64 is eight. Another one done. What happens when you combine a negative and a fraction exponent and you have a negative fraction? Which should you do first? The answer, do the negative part first. What do you do for a negative exponent? Put me under the line and change my exponent sign. Notice the fraction stays three over two, but it's positive now. I'm gonna erase that. I had a hard time drawing the three there. Let's see if I can get it right this time. Three over two. Now the exponent on the bottom is positive. We dealt with the negative exponent. Now let's deal with this fractional exponent. The fractional exponent means the top number is the power, four thirds. The bottom number is the root. And by the way, you can do either one first. That is, they had to do the negative exponent first, but when it comes to the fraction exponent, the last time I did four to the power of three square rooted, you could also do the square root part first. This two on the bottom means square root, so take the square root of four, and then take the square root of four to the power of three. In other words, it's your choice. When you see a fraction exponent, do you want to do power of three, then square root, or square root, then power of three? You'll get the same answer, watch. What's the square root of four? That's easy, two. And what's two to the power of three? Two to the power of three is two times two times two, that's eight. Hey, you say, I didn't get the same answer. Yeah, but that's because this exponent was negative. So it was the same as the last question, but put me under the line. All right, let's move on to this one. This one has negative and positive and fraction exponents, but they're all to each other. And before you even worry about negative exponents or fractional exponents, there's a little fraction missing there. And before you even worry about that, remember your rule of if you have an exponent on an exponent, you multiply exponents. I'm gonna leave the base 16. I've got this exponent negative half times two. What's negative a half times two? That's the same as negative a half times two over one. I'm gonna multiply these exponents. That's a rule, it's called the power of a power. When you got a power on a power, multiply the exponents. And when you're multiplying fractions, top times top, that's negative two, bottom times bottom, two. Negative two over two, all times, all to the power of negative a quarter. But I'll simplify first. This 16 to the negative two over two, oh, I can actually leave it as a fraction. I was gonna make this negative one, but I'm gonna just multiply again, top, again, I got exponent on exponent. I'm gonna do top times top. I've got a power on a power, so top times top is two. Bottom times bottom is eight. And I get 16 to the two eighths. Now I'm gonna simplify. What's two eighths? That's the same as one quarter. 16 to the quarter. And just like previous questions, I got this fractional exponent now. It's not negative, it's just a fraction. 
The fraction means the top number is the power, 16 to the power of 1. The bottom number is a root. So this is the fourth root of 16 to the power of 1. 16 to the power of 1, you don't need a calculator. 16 to the power of 1 is just 16. So I need to take the fourth root of 16. Here's how on the calculator. I'm going to do 4 shift my exponent button. Some calculators it works differently, you gotta do the exponent button shift. If you're not sure, I can check your calculator. But on my calculator, four, shift the exponent button, and I get fourth root of 16 equals two. And so the answer here is two. And I got one more question to do. This question, I gotta figure out 11 to the negative three quarters times 11 to the 5 eighths divided by 11 to the 3 halves. Well, in other question, in fact, in previous question, we were doing power on a power. This is an exponent to an exponent. That's not the case here. We're multiplying the bases. And the rule is when you multiply the base, add the exponents. I have a video on that if you haven't watched it. So I want to add this exponent to this exponent, but I can't because they have a different denominator. No problem. I'll change this one's denominator to out of 8. If I want to go from 4 to 8, I times by 2. So this is the same as negative 6 out of 8. So I have 11 to the power of negative 6 out of, over 8 times 11 over 5 to the power of 8. And I might as well change the bottom one too. I'm going to make it an exponent also, base 8 or denominator 8. So if this goes from 2 to 8, that's times 4. So multiply the numerator by 4 and you get 12. So 11 to the negative 6 over 8 times 11 to the 5 over 8 divided by 11 to the 12 over 8, which equals. Now I can take the same base when I'm multiplying, add the exponents. What's negative 6 eighths plus 5 eighths? You get negative 1 eighth all over. Didn't really need those brackets. I just put them there. Tw 11 to the... 12 eighths. Careful here. When you've got division, you subtract exponents. So what's minus 1 over 8 minus 12 over 8? That's just minus 1 minus 12. That's 11 to the negative 13 over 8. Not done though. Back to the stuff we've been talking about. I got a negative exponent. What do you do with a negative exponent? Put me under the line. Change my exponent sign. So I have 1 over 13 eighths. And now I've got to change that denominator. So I have 1 over, this is the same as 11 to the, I'm going to do the root first. It'll be easier, I think, on my calculator. This is 11 to the 8th root, because 8 is this denominator. And then take all that power of 13. Let's make sure this fraction covers it all. All right, I have 1 over the 8th root of 11. I'm going to leave the 1 there. I don't do that on the calculator. I just do the 8th root of 11. So what's the 8th root of 11? And I get this big decimal, but I'm not going to write it. I'm just going to right away go power of 13. Power of 13. And I get 1 over, ooh, that's a big decimal. I'm going to keep them all, though. 49.233. 77237. And even though I didn't round it, the calculator rounded it. I need a rounding dot there. And since it's 1 divided by that, I'm going to have to finish it off. What's 1 divided by that number? 1 divided by 49.233.77237. You get 0. Point, this time I'll round to two decimal places. 0 0.02. Got my answer. And what I've done is evaluated exponents that were both negatives and fractions.